welcome back to our channel all about bi in last session or last couple of sessions we discussed how do we execute powershell script from azure data factory custom activity okay what are the steps we do in order to delete a file or folder in azure blob storage or data lake storage so that i showed in the last couple of sessions and i also told that i'll be showing you how do we access the output of the custom activity for every custom activity we have two outputs one is standard output.txt and standard error.txt okay if you uh, go to the blob storage which you have linked with your um, custom activity right so every custom activity needs to be linked with the azure storage uh, okay so if uh, you have linked your uh, custom activity with this blob right there is a folder called adf jobs which gets created automatically inside that adf jobs you will have a folder for every execution of your pipeline okay every time you execute a pipeline with a custom activity a folder gets created okay and uh, um, this is nothing but the run id okay run id of the custom activity so inside this uh, um, folder you will have output folder inside that there are two files present one is std error.txt std out.txt okay both are uh, zero because i might have terminated the script i'll show you some other uh, uh, folder wherein we have some data all right so you have std out.txt std error.txt uh, there are real time scenarios wherein our script gets failed okay or it uh, uh, terminates due to some error in that case we will want to capture the error and uh, um, log it somewhere okay either copy this standard error.txt to some other folder in the same container or a different uh, blob container so have a record over there or you can copy the text to a um, database table okay we can do anything similarly standard out.txt your powershell script might be uh, having some print statement or uh, write host uh, statements which gives you some clue about what has happened in the um, powershell script okay if you want to capture and log those details from the pipeline what do we have to do that's what i'm going to tell you okay i have a custom activity it is uh, whenever it executes it will give me uh, two things in the output uh, tag one is standard out.txt link and standard error.txt link this link is nothing but inside my blob inside adf jobs content or folder this is the run id of the activity custom activity and then followed by that output this is also automatically created standard error.txt and standard out.txt the link only we will be getting not the content okay if you want to look at the content you go click it so the file gets downloaded automatically and then you open and see the data okay this is the output i am getting from my powershell script but in real time it, it will not be like this maybe we have some print statements like uh, executed powershell script uh, insertion successful something like that uh, we will be having right so those kind of uh, print statements can be captured in the log uh, which can then be logged on to a sql server or a mother blob storage part okay so um, how do we do that that's what i'm going to tell you now i have a lookup activity okay in that lookup activity you, you can have a copy activity as well if you want to copy the standard output or standard error.txt uh, you can have a copy activity pointed to the generated uh, file during runtime and then you can move it to some other um, container okay so uh, basically uh, we need a data set okay in order to point to the file that gets generated we need a data set and uh, this is the container name which is nothing but adf jobs okay and this run id has to be provided in the runtime only we do not know the run id uh, up front so i have to pass this during runtime followed by that output slash standard out.txt similarly standard error.txt okay so uh, this is quite simple so uh, during uh, um, runtime i will be passing the activity run id activity run id is nothing but every custom custom activity whenever it executes there will be a run id generated okay for each activity we will have a run id and for each pipeline execution also you will have a run id so in order for us to access the standard out and standard error.txt we need the run id of the custom activity okay that's what i am doing here activity activity name dot activity run id this will be uh, passing the run id to the data set in runtime and in data set if you see inside adf jobs inside my run id that i am passing from pipeline 
inside output i have the standard out dot txt so how does it look when i execute the pipeline i'll show you that now i have a, a, a very dummy statement uh, in the powershell script right so the output might not be quite appealing okay but still i just wanted to show you how does it look so if you see here name and value why does it come uh, as name value uh, this this is going to be the keyword part and this is the value part okay this is the key part this is the value part before colon you you have the keyword after colon you have the value so in adf jobs if you look at the output all the details will be um, split into two columns because what i am doing in my powershell script is i am just uh, finding the powershell version okay i'll show you the latest one there is no sort option here otherwise it will be easy for me to uh, pick up the latest one and show you i instead i'll show you my uh, powershell script that will be simpler so if you see this i'm just printing my powershell version powershell version table so, so how it will be giving me the output is something like there will be a name column there will be a value column okay version followed by that powershell version so something like this i'll have some details about the powershell that is installed on the node okay since we have two columns my pipeline is automatically thinking the file comes with uh, just two columns and it is grouping me under name and value okay so if you look at this powershell version is 5.1 powershell edition is desktop so like this i have different values okay finally what i'm doing is i'm just writing one uh, print statement that is nothing but testing parameters param1 equal to test1 parameter 2 equal to test2 so this is how uh, th th this is the actual content of me text output dot txt like this if you want to capture text error dot txt also you will have something similar to this uh, but uh, if it is error right it is automatically generated it will have much more uh, better um, viewing stuff okay it will not be clumsy as clumsy as what i'm showing now you will have a better experience looking at the error file okay just make sure you are using this activity run id um, during runtime in order to capture the text files generated during runtime of the pipeline okay this is all i had for this session um, thank you so much for watching